you feel a certain level of pain when you don't have one of your parents with you. Why isn't he there? Why do other people have a dad there and you don't? We are with Amanda Gordish today. She is amazing. She's come here to visit us from Jacksonville, and we are thrilled to have you. Thank you so much, Kelly. So share with me a little bit about your childhood. There's a lot of highs. My mom built this wonderful childhood for us where we had the things that all the other kids did. We were able to participate in the activities that we wanted to Um like, you know, she spent all of her vacation time making sure that she was at all of those activities with us. But you feel a certain level of pain when you don't have one of your parents with you. And having my father not there for a decade of my life was really impactful. There's a lot of questions as to why. I mean, as an adult, I recognize that he was going through his own things personally mm -hmm. um, and wasn't in a great place to be a wonderful father at the time. Mm -hmm. um, but in the moment as a child, sure. you you question like, why isn't he there? Why do other people have a dad there and you don't? Um, you know, you watch your mom struggle to make ends meet. Well, and what a great role model. Right. Yeah. You know, like from her, I, I really learned what a strong work ethic is all about. Yeah. Um, and, and how to prioritize your life and, and how to put the service for others in front of yourself. You know, there wasn't anything more important than your family. Because people forget that sometimes, don't they? Right. Yeah. You know, and it's like, we all work really hard to build very successful careers. That success really does start at home, yeah. you know? So 10 years go by and not a lot happening with your dad, mm -hmm. very inconsistent. Yes. Um, and then you reconciled. What was that like? Yeah. So I was a freshman in college. Uh -huh. I'd actually just moved into my sorority house. Um, and my dad reached out to me and said to me that he was moving back from California to Ohio where I was at in college. What happened when you got together? It was like, you know, he'd never really been gone, but it was kind of like a piece of me had been missing that was back. Is your is other kids might be going through mm -hmm. similar things where one parent steps out for one reason or another. What could you help them with? Well, I think just knowing that it's never because of the child. Yeah. You know, that's not the reason why my dad was gone. And I think spending time with him helped me understand that he needed to grow as a person. You are now graduating from college. Mm -hmm. And you're going into a very, very male-dominated industry. Mm -hmm. What made you pick that? I had this opportunity to apply for um, a company called PLS Logistics. Okay. And I found myself in a starting class with 10 people, and I was the only girl. I chose to see that as an opportunity and a strength, um, where I think some other women may have seen that as an obstacle. It never crossed my mind. A lot of people always said to me, how did you know you were going to be successful and you're going to make it? It never crossed my mind that I wouldn't be <laughs> um, because I was very confident that I would put the work in to be successful. It's a constant theme of why women aren't successful sometimes. Mm -hmm. It literally all comes back to lead generation if you're willing to pick up the phone or not. Right. And it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman mm -hmm. in that case. But I think that sometimes women are afraid to pick up that phone and so they don't do it and mm -hmm. or they get nervous about it and it takes longer and it's literally that simple. When I remember my first day on the floor, the phone was ringing off the hook and mm -hmm. I just remember thinking like, like, oh my gosh, like there's so much going on around me. This brokerage floor is wild. And the guy next to me said, pick up the phone. Really aggressive, you know? And I was like, that's all there is really to it. Like pick up the phone. It's uh, and, and it really was that simple. And from that point forward, it was like, yeah, you just pick up the phone. What do you want to share with other women? The women mentors that I've had in my career mm -hmm. inside the industry or outside the industry have been really impactful just because I understood that they were all fighting their own battles also and were coming in and having the tenacity to overcome that every single day and get on the phone and make the job happen. So the work ethic behind it, I think is really important. Coming together as women to support each other and get to know each other on a more personal level than just what their sales numbers look like or how many calls they made for the day, um, but what genuinely motivates someone and what they've overcome in their lives to get to them to that point helps you to continue to grow. The most successful women that I know not just in our industry, but in general, are women that have fought really hard battles and continue to fight every single day, whether that be personally or professionally. That's nasty, having the work ethic, putting the time into the job to 
to learn your craft, whatever it may be, is really important. You know, I thank you for your tenacity because it's so great to see people that no matter where your circumstances start, you really can achieve anything that you want to in any industry that you want to. And it just does take that follow through and that internal fortitude that you have. And it's so cool to see. And I know you're a vehicle for lots of other women. So thanks for yeah, coming Thank today. you so much, yeah. Kelly. I appreciate it. These women's stories are so impactful. Eris Sisters creates opportunities for women.